This is a picture I'm doing of the sanctuary. I'm sorry I didn't start um, the recording from the very beginning of the drawing. But this is just a, a just a uh, drawing stage right now. I'm going to do, do this in watercolor. I didn't like the angle of the bottom row there of... Um, of curtains so I did that again now this uh, drawing is based on a combination of this image that is from Rose Publishing but I also put um, my own I, I mixed it with my own drawings that I did on the computer of the sanctuary so this is the, uh, so I'm sketching out this right now. Then I'm planning to do a, do um, some watercolor liftoff techniques. I'm working there on the altar of burnt offering there that I'm drawing right there. That's the altar of burnt offering. And I drew the laver. That's right behind it, the laver for the washings. This is the uh, for those that are not familiar, the sanctuary is introduced in the book of Exodus, Exodus chapter 25. And Exodus 25 verse 8 is where God says, let them build me a sanctuary that I might dwell among them. So this is the sanctuary that God had commissioned Moses to build and it was for the purpose of God dwelling among his people. It is a shadow, a pattern of the heavenly sanctuary. And so there is a sanctuary of heaven in heaven that we read about in the book of Hebrews in the Old Testament, chapter 8, speaks of Jesus as our great high priest in the heavenly sanctuary. So this is the earthly sanctuary here that I'm drawing here. I'm going to, um, I'm going to be um, using it, or I plan to use this in, in some of my, uh, maybe in some of my sermons and my PowerPoint presentations and when I do a, do a sermon. So I'm drawing out the posts there. Or my version of the posts. And so the posts and the items of the sanctuary that was those are more from my own my own uh, version. My own ideas, but the layout is coming from the Rose Publishing. I decided I'm going to make this a little quicker and I started to use the straight edge there and do it a little bit quicker. I realized as I was doing this, I probably didn't have to go in all this detail in the pencil drawing because I'm planning to go over it with the watercolor. But anyway, I, I decided to do it that way. Putting them in the post there. I know it's not... A very professional looking video you got the little shadow of the stand there in the toward the top left there of the camera that I'm uh, using I'm using the free app too for this uh, to, to put this together the free VN uh, video making app that I got from the App Store And working on the post there, not paying so much attention to every detail that the Bible presents on this. Just just the main idea. And I uh, can see I'm zooming in there and just drawing out the posts. I wish I had done this with my other drawing 
where I showed stage by stage how I did it, the one that I did of, of Jesus in the heavenly sanctuary. And I just have a short, quick video where I show that one. Again, that was also watercolor as well. So this is the earthly sanctuary of the Old Testament. And um, I didn't show when I drew the the sanctuary or the tabernacle. Well, this is called the tabernacle because at this stage in Israel's history, it was like a movable tabernacle, a movable sanctuary, like a, like a, a tent. It could be moved that the Levites would help to transfer. But then Solomon built the temple, which is based on the same pattern, same proportions, but obviously no longer movable. And now I'm drawing on the drawing out the first there the the, first, the posts in the beginning, uh, in the front. And so I'm just showing this video now. This is where I am in this drawing. Uh, this is actually the second day that I'm working on it. So I would have liked to have. I didn't even think of recording it. I, I really don't tend to record while I'm actually doing the, the drawing, and, and obviously this is sped up. I sped this up. It would be pretty long and boring if I kept it at the actual speed. And so this is where I am right now. I'll show you another video, God willing, as I continue to work on this. And then I will... Uh, maybe have a, a, a shorter video where I just put it all together, hopefully once, uh, once I complete the picture, put the whole thing together, and just kind of speed up each portion and maybe slow down some important parts and then have a final video. Well, thanks for watching. Have a blessed day.